she was the mother of a girl, she was employed by the organization, the goal of this organization was to locate these species, their home was located in the middle of the woods, an explosion occurs unexpectedly near their home. Both the mother and the girl were terrified and sought help from the organization, they see that this thing has just entered the world, that is, it has been born, as soon as she notices all of the people surrounding her, she becomes nervous, it begins to assault them, Emma possessed a gadget capable of calming its rage, in reality, the gadget actually decreased the frequency in the vicinity of the organism, she is perfectly calm when she hands the gadget to this beast, they were thrilled with this victory. However, a guy named Alan appears, he was eager to have this gizmo, as a result, he flees with Emma and her daughter, he believes that mankind has neglected the planet Earth, they messed with the natural order, he desired to resurrect the animals, he transports them to the organization's other branch, a gathering opposing Emma's group was conducted there. There were also other scientists from this organization present, they wish to preserve the environment, Emma and her kid are taken here, and a doctor is informed, he rushes to Emma's ex-husband after hearing it, that apparatus was created by him, the doctor explains his goal to him, he, on the other hand, refuses to accept it, then he informs him that it has the potential to reunite him with his family, after considerable persuasion, he agrees, then they walk to their control room, which is located beneath the water, they caught a beast wherever there was a chapter of this organization. They'd come to capture this beast, they then attempt to locate Godzilla, when they hunt for Godzilla, however, they detect no signal, suddenly, the frequency rises, Godzilla appeared to be close by and enraged, everyone is terrified until Godzilla appears, he was now in the sea, on his way to them, he begins shattering the glass there, in fact, he used to go by sea to every nation. When he sensed the presence of a hazardous beast, now he's off to Antarctica in search of the beast, they also understand why he went there in the first place, why is he so eager to go there? As a result, they go after him, as he approaches, we notice a massive dragon waiting for him, King Giro was a three-headed creature. He had not yet been put to sleep by this organization, and he had been deactivated, he had a competitor in Godzilla, Godzilla would frequently come here to battle him. When the doctor arrives to save Emma, he is taken aback to see that she is siding with Alan, she'd come up with a strategy to rouse that beast, she is adamant about not accompanying them, she breaks the dragon's glass as she walks, he'd been triggered and was now entirely outdoors, Godzilla had been waiting for this opportunity to battle him. They have a lot of fights, the monster then attacks Godzilla and proceeds to attack the other individuals, when Emma sees it, she becomes concerned that things will continue to go wrong, she activates the gadget, which cools the monster down, as a result, no one is harmed by that monster, Emma then departs with Alan, those folks, on the other hand, must go, people from the organization were behind the monster's plan to assassinate him, Emma, on the other hand, makes a video call to them, she explains why she decided to join the opponents. You are not deserving of my company, you wreak havoc on the environment and animals, I'll set each creature free, one at a time, this planet was wronged by you, these species may be able to assist us, because of the radiation in their bodies, they have the ability to repair the earth as they move through it, when members of the organization indicate they want to kill people, how do you regard them as your companions? She claims that you are incorrect. We had been living together for quite some time, everything was in its proper place. We didn't say anything to them, and they didn't say anything to us, so we took care of them, do you want them to sit quietly without defending themselves because they did something wrong to you? She promises to release them, she then hangs up the call, she starts out on her quest, since she stated that they will release all creatures free, everyone was concerned that if she continued in this manner, we would be doomed, as she progresses, Emma frees another species, he was born on a volcano, that volcano was located in a densely populated region, the entire city was housed there. She loses her humanity and becomes ruthless, she merely desired to set the animals free, the beast that emerged from the volcano was enormous, from the air, the army strikes him, he was going to strike them when he abruptly fled, 